I have about 20, 20 plus years of marketing um, behind uh, my belt here, and I'm I I've worked in brand and identity. Um, and more recently, I guess within the last 10 years, I focused in uh, financial technology, um, and that would include uh, mobile payments, um, AI, conversational AI, and more recently, open banking. We help connect with a direct connection with a bank and, and other fintechs that want to provide services to the the everyday user um we call them digital natives because they're the ones who are very familiar with um, and wanting lots of new products and services so we help a, uh, help create a very secure way for a fintech to get data from the bank without them keeping that data or really seeing that data and and approving that customer so it could be uh, some kind of financial product maybe it's uh, for a loan um it could be yeah, lots of different use cases. There are in Canada, there are thousands of uh, fintechs. In the United States, there's you know maybe ten times that or more. So there are a lot of uh, fintechs that want access to that end user's financial data. Um, with it, that could be like you know your customer KYC, um, especially in a loan. They want to know how long have these people had had an account um, and what uh you know what standing they have in in their um you know in their banking so yeah really really high level um and we do it what's called point to point which is sort of that next generation of open banking where it's um, a lot more secure than what's known as the aggregator style of open banking because we're working with financial institutions both big and small um, and we have, we're working with a lot of them. Um, the idea of space, um, being able to take a financial institution, a customer or a potential customer behind, uh, almost like a, behind a firewall where we can have information that they, that the public wouldn't necessarily have access to, or say our competition won't, wouldn't necessarily have access to. And we can offer them a completely different um, kind of bespoke experience behind the in, in a special room called us, you know, our, our whether we call it uh, a sales room, um, uh, whatever that or portal, whatever that we call that it, it allows us to bring uh, a potential client or even a bunch of clients all in at once, like, for example, say, we have um, credit unions, there are hundreds of them. Uh, and we want to say host a webinar. Um, and so but we also don't want that webinar to be sort of common uh, public knowledge, uh, there's some certain sensitivity. Uh, there's some things that are said during that webinar that we don't um, want out there, nor do the credit unions. And so they can come into the safe place or space and they can find resources, they can get some of our kind of bespoke messaging that's tailored just to that audience. And then they can watch a webinar and then afterwards they can find resources. Well, a couple things. So the one thing, you know, we're, we're heavy on is uh, PowerPoint presentations and, and how we send that message out to people. But there are also the issue of people sharing our PowerPoints. We have no control over who shares that PDF once it goes out. Um, and so we have to be careful what we say um, in that we have to be more careful. Um, so when it comes to um, space, I really feel like the the way it's set up is, is the perfect tool for telling a story and drawing people into that story. But the one thing that, um, you know, these presentations lack is a secure place to um, sort of chat um, but also store resources. So we have certain um, attachments or files that we can put in this space that no one else but that one client can have, and they feel special when when we do that. It's a and the other the other side of things is the security. Um, that's very important to us, as you can imagine, being in uh, working with banks, being in financial technology. The security has to be very high security. So there were settings that we could set 
so that it's very high security. We can invite people, but then they have to have to go through a certain process in logging in. I can grant access to people. I can remove access. Um, that was very important to our technical team uh, that that there be very high security. So far, it's been amazing. Like, so if we had any um, questions or issues, someone is always quick to get back to us or jump on a call, um, and that's been um, seamless for us. That's been fantastic. That that would be one of my bigger concerns in trying a new a new platform. Um, but that's been fantastic with you guys. Um, you know, the one thing I had um, recently was okay if we have some kind of call to action or we want to capture. So like we're inviting, you know, 90 people to a webinar, but these are all really key people inside inside the banking. They're like target audience, um, but it's a specific webinar. But we want to also capture their, we want to have a certain call to action at the end. Um, and so you and I chatted. I'm like, well, we, it'd be great to have a form. And you're like, well, we have, we can, we can do it this way. And so it, it, it wasn't available you know, where I could just go add form. But then when I spoke to you, we, you know, there was a, a very uh, clever and easy fix to integrate that with, with one of our tools that we have. Um, so that was fantastic. Uh, the other thing is that you are constantly updating your feature set and, and tools. And so I've noticed that over the past, I guess we've been working in space for maybe about seven months has it been. Um, I've noticed that there are that continual iteration and updates, which is fantastic. So we get new new feature sets constantly added. To, it's a it's a very dynamic um, tool.